We still have river gauges that are in major flood. Uh, there's a couple been monitoring that are either steady, not dropping real quick. Uh, I tell you, this month has been really dry. We're gonna, we'll have a story on that coming up. And so it's meant that we overall haven't really seen a lot of weather delays. Let's see if that holds as we get into your Friday and the weekend. So far, starting off on a good note, no weather delays across the country right now. Now, there's a couple of spots that are monitoring some uh, rainfall, like in Salt Lake City. It is raining right now. It's a little gusty with wind, so we'll have to keep an eye on flights there to see if we stay on time. It's one of the airports we're highlighting. We may get uh, some moisture, some gusty winds in the southwest, and so from Las Vegas to Phoenix, that could mean some delays. Seattle, we also have a busy pattern coming our way with the chance of some rain out there on the West Coast, and that's going to mean the potential of delays at the airport. Although overall, I think we should have a pretty good day when it comes to travel for your Friday. Now, while it's turbulence, let me back that up for a second. I went too quickly through that because I know when there's a bumpy ride, it definitely can uh, affect. Nope, for some reason it doesn't want to go today. Um, but turbulence is going to be a factor out there in the West, especially. That's where we have some of the gusty winds at the jet stream level. Now into uh, on the roads, this map shows us where winds are going to be at the street level or interstate level. Strong winds we saw them yesterday in western Kansas, gusting over 50 miles per hour in places like Hill City, Kansas. That's just shifting a little bit to the east today. So a strong south wind coming up. That's going to be a crosswind on all of these east west interstates, all the even numbered ones. You're going to have a strong crosswind today. Northeast, we've got a beautiful day. Lots of sunshine. Temperatures are a little warmer than they've been the past couple of days. And so when it comes to travel here, I think that sunshine slowdown in the afternoon, that sunsets earlier and earlier, Reynolds, that'll be your biggest problem here. Yes, indeed. Well, hey, more on some other spots into the west. It's been quite a time here with the system that has already been dropping snow. Saw five inches of snow already at Alta in Utah and we are going to get more. There's still a winter storm warning that's posted here, especially some of the southern mountains still getting some snow. Um, and now really it's Colorado, southwestern Colorado getting into most of it. We also have some winter weather advisories up here to the north too. Some of this moisture reaching all the way up to Wyoming where some snowflakes are flying. I did just check the interstates though and I-80 is just rain. No, no snow on there. It's just wet. But look at this some accumulations. We could get feet of snow in and around Telluride. The highest spots we're talking about above eight or 9,000 feet to really get that much snow. Steamboat Springs, though, saw three inches of snow already for you this morning on top of the uh, wild blue gondola up there. Yes, it is starting. And we have had such a warm last couple of weeks. That really was a challenge for anyone trying to make snow at these ski resorts. So this is good. Let's get the moisture in. This little pocket of moisture and cool air is going to help with those snow making conditions as well. Although I'll tell you, it does, uh, it does warm up once we get past this weekend. So where we are right now, we've got rain and thunder in the area in Durango. You go up in elevation, I bet it's thunder snow. Flagstaff, we've dropped to 38 degrees. We were in the 40s all morning. So um, could there be some snow up there at elevation? It's possible. Not going to get, I think, a ton. It's going to be challenging with the, the temperatures the way they are. But we're definitely still snowing up here in the benches and the cottonwoods uh, north of Salt Lake City. Rain, in, a chilly rain in Salt Lake City itself. Reynolds. Okay, well, warm, dry, and windy conditions in California. The temperature's dropping into the 30s without the heat. Now, but the afternoons will really rebound. Um, and I know a lot of you are asking as well, are you going to see any rain? I mean, that has been some 69 mile stretch has reopened. That's right. And with us now for more on the status of the parkway and what leaf peepers can expect. Uh, this year is Naaman Horn, National Park spokesperson. We really appreciate your time with us today. Uh, we understand that most of the Blue Ridge Parkway that runs through Virginia has reopened. That's the good news. Are you seeing an increase of in visitors? We are seeing visitors. This is uh, fall color time. I know folks who maybe had already planned a trip and we're thinking about traveling um, up this way are concerned about coming into the area because they know that priority is on making sure that everything needed can get to the people that need it the most. Um, but you say in Virginia it's open. So what will people see if they make that drive? So there are certainly months for people um, who want to go to the Piedmont. You want to go and you want to be a help, but you, you don't want to be a hindrance. But we know that that a lot of people have to go up there and it, it's it's part of the job. They're there to assist. Now, do you have an estimate as to when we can expect all of this to reopen for everyone? You know, up on in, in Virginia where it has reopened and um, but this was an area that was also hit, though, um, with the rains and some of the, the mudslides from Helene. What about hiking or biking in the forest? I know that's a popular thing. Is that still possible to do? It is in some areas. A minute left. Uh, can, can we hone in on some of the areas that are open, that, that are welcoming people at this time, recreation areas? 
Spokesperson for the National Park Service, uh, on behalf of the Weather Channel, we're very grateful for your service. We truly are, and for this information. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, you know, it's been a tough stretch of back-to-back -back hurricanes across our country. Seems like parts of the South. Take a look back at where we started the summer with, where we ended the summer with, and where we are right now. It was.